Hi guys, Jenny again with part 3 of my November mini album swap. Uh, just taking a stamp from the Whirly Words uh, set by Technique Tuesday. And this stamp uh, says, Nothing ever happens unless first we dream. So I just put some uh, burgundy Versicolor ink on there and stamping it onto uh, craft cardstock and that's clear embossing powder there just being applied and then using my um, heat tool to heat emboss that image to bring out the burgundy colour of that ink And now using my exacto knife to cut around that stamped image. And I'm using this section to uh, for the corner of the page to place a tag in or a photo. So then I'm just um, getting some burgundy cardstock and attaching the section to it with glue dots and then using my exacto knife again to cut around the outside that leaving a bit more space so it's slightly larger than the craft cardstock piece on top and I'd prefer to use the exacto knife than scissors because I for me it gives it a clearer a cleaner edge I haven't perfected the use of cutting out with scissors yet um, and now just uh, spraying a um, a crown glimmer screen from the Elegant Emblem set and I'm spraying um, uh, Pearl Glimmer Mist onto it and I didn't like the look of it so I repositioned it and sprayed some Red Velvet Glimmer Mist on it and I really liked the effect that that gave it uh, really complemented the, the background designer paper now just um, patting that, um, getting the excess ink off that, using sc some scrap paper to do it. And that's what that one looks like. And now just uh, putting some thin dimensionals on the back of the corner section there. Um, I wanted to use thin dimensionals. I need. I wanted it to pop out a bit, but not too much because it's going to be used to place a tag or a photo, um, and it need to be a, a snug fit, but not too tight. So that's why I used the thin dimensionals rather than placing it directly on the page. Now just uh, edging the um, chipboard page here with vintage photo distress ink, and placing that corner piece in position and that's that page complete now I've got a um, a stamp a clowns stamp by Tim Holtz which I'm inking up using green stays on ink and using my stamp positioning um, tool again to position that on where I want it on the the acetate um, re-inking the stamp and and then stamping it onto the acetate uh, and I'm using this piece of acetate as a pocket on a page um, and above that um, I'm using my stamp positioning tool again to line up the letters of the word smile and I'm using green stays on ink again 
um, with these letters. Um, and this set, alphabet set, is by Stampin' Up. And I love the letters because they're all lowercase, but they're all different sizes, big and small. And now I've um, just cut off a piece of lace ribbon, and I'm spraying it with English Ivy Glimmer Mist. I'm spraying both sides of the lace ribbon. and then just putting it aside to dry. And now just gluing down the acetate section. I've, I've cut that out first and now gluing it down using my ATG underneath that smile. And I was careful to, when putting the glue on, to make sure I didn't put too much on it so that the lace would cover it. Now I've taken a couple of strands of fibres and attaching them in a crisscross fashion on another page. Um, and I'm attaching it using acid free sticky tape, and I think that's by Scotch. And uh, where that crisscross meets in the middle, I'll be um, making a lollipop flower to put there down the track. Uh, and now just using the ATG to tape that page down to the chipboard. And this album, I'm uh, using my Zutter Bind at all for the binding. And I create a, a template for each of my projects when I'm using the uh, bind it all. And I just cut out a piece of scrap paper the same size as the pages that I'm using in the album. And then I rule a line up the centre. And I, use, I stick that on the front of each page that I put into the bind it all. Um, and use the guide on the bind it all um, to get the exact position that I need. And they come out punched, the holes come out punched perfectly every time, perfectly aligned. So it's a really good tip to use. And now just applying the glue to the back of that page and um, gluing it on to the chipboard. Now I'm using the quarter inch double sided sticky strip, um, placing it on the bottom of that laced ribbon edge and then attaching it to the top of the acetate pocket there on the bottom edge and the left edge and that'll cover the glue underneath and as well as um, giving it an outline and a, and a finish and then just tidying up the edges by cutting them off and and then that page is um, complete so thanks for watching uh, and stay tuned for part four bye